Welcome back and today we are going to discuss HLOOKUP function in Excel as its name suggests HLOOKUP or horizontal lookup. So before we dive into the syntax and how it works, I'm going to show you a basic example of HLOOKUP that will help you to understand this function in a better way. Now on your screen, you have some customer name with some sales amount. We need to find the grade and bonus for these customers using the right side table that consists of grade, bonus and the sales amount. So here I'm going to use the HLOOKUP function. Keep an eye on the syntax. It is asking me for the lookup value. So I'm going to find the grade on the basis of sales. So that will be my lookup value followed by the table array. Now, this is something most important while using the HLOOKUP. You need to make sure your lookup value is located in the first row of your table, which means if I have to find a grade on the basis of sales, then the sales amount should be the first row of my table array. So that's what exactly it is right here. This is my first row and this is my table array. I'm going to freeze it. Now the row index number or the row number is where my grade is present, which is in second row. So I'm going to use two followed by either approximate match or an exact match. So as of now, in this example, we are going to use exact match and bingo. I'm just going to extend the results and I have my grades for all the custom. Similarly, I can find the bonus for these customers using HLOOKUP. Now, the lookup value will be the sales amount. The table array will be this one. Make sure your sales amount, the lookup value should be the first row of your table array. Now, this time the row number will be three because the bonus is in the third row followed by exact match and we have the results now in this example we have used exact match condition what if we have to use a approximate match so that's what we are going to discuss in this example now let's have a look on the sales amount here these are not the multiple of fives these are 41 32 29 which is not present in the sales amount. So this is the reason why we need to go for a approximate match this time. So it will work exactly the same way. Lookup value, then the table array, I need to freeze it. Then the row number, that will be two. And this time approximate match. Now I'm going to extend it and we have the results. So I hope you understand why we use approximate match this time as our lookup value is not the exact value in the table array. That's the reason. Similarly, we can find bonuses by using the same formula. This time the row number will be three because the bonus is in the third row followed by approximate match and bingo. So I hope you understand how to use HLOOKUP, the horizontal lookup. Now, two things which is most important. Your lookup value should be the first row of your table array. And you need to select the exact match or the approximate match according to your sales amount. If your all sales amount is present in the table array, then you can go for a exact match if not then go for approximate match now we are going to talk about one more example for HLOOKUP where we are going to find the first text value in a row but this time we are going to use while characters let's start so lookup value now the lookup value what we want is the first text value in a row this one right so how we are going to do it, we are going to use a while character that is asterisk under inverted commas. Now I'm going to select my table array, row index number. 
I want first text value which mean F1 followed by exact match and we have the results like this now look here this result if you see uh, for this table array I have FF the first text value but I have one more that is Q what if instead of asterisk as a wild character I use a quotient mark let's talk here this time I'm going to use a quotient mark as a wild character and the rest of the things will remain same now look at the difference in this one when we use asterisk it give me ff as the first text value but if I use the quotient mark it gives me q as the first text value so there's a difference in the wild characters results if I use it differently now I have mentioned the reason in the description do let me know in the comment section if you want more video about HLOOKUP or if you have any doubt related to this video.